Welcome to my channel, Living Linux. Today I'm going to show you Ether SX2 on my Phytium Octa-Core ARM CPU and AMD Radeon RX 550. So when you want to know a little bit more about this computer, um, I will leave the link to CNX software where they give the specs and tell you a little bit more about the computer. And just to show you, we're running the 5.15 kernel for ARM 64-bit. You can download Ether SX2 for Linux on the Ether SX2 website. You go to Downloads, Desktop, Linux, and you can just take the most recent one. And after you have downloaded it, you need to give it executable permissions. So, I'm already in the downloads directory and with this command you can give it executable permission. And you should have a PS2 BIOS and a game as an ISO image. So I already have Final Fantasy X. And we're using the Vulkan backend, and from the resolution you can see that we're at three times upscaling. And when you look at the sword, it's much smoother than when you're just at the original resolution. And in my experience, the Phytium is faster than a Rockchip RK3588, even when that's running Ether SX2 on Android. And one of the things I notice with Final Fantasy X is that with a certain demi attack then I saw some slowdowns so we'll go to that particular scene comes the attack. And as you can see on this machine there is no slowdown. Or at least not when you're at three times upscaling. So I would say anyone with a Phytium computer um, I think it's a good idea to install Ether SX2 because it runs very smoothly, even better than Android with a Rockchip RK3588. And I think you can really say that this Phytium is a desktop class machine. It's not the fastest, of course, when you compare it with AMD or Intel, 
but you can see that it still packs a punch. So that's all for now, and I hope to see you again in my next video.